Emily, welcome. Come on in. Thank you so much. So are you ready to get your 21 questions started? I am. Um, can't wait. <laughs> all right, perfect. So first question, how are you doing? Everything has been terrific. Now that all, all the students are back and the campuses are open, fantastic. Awesome. So what are we going to be doing right now? Well, why don't we go ahead out in the backyard and we can see if Callie's around and we can sit down and talk. Oh, perfect. All right, let's do that then. So how would you say Callie's enjoying her life at Pacific? Callie's having the time of her life. Callie is hit the doggy jackpot. Um, she has 4,000 <laughs> friends around all the time and she gets to live on a 175 acre park. It's, uh, it's a good life. She definitely sounds like she's living the life. <laughs> So what are you most excited about now that there's more students back on campus? Well, mostly that all the students are on campus. <laughs> that's, that's everything. Um, uh, you know, it was a long time. Hey, Cal. Come on over. It was, you know, it was, it was really sad uh, having a, this big, beautiful campus. And it was basically just uh, the three of us, <laughs> Callie, Jean, and myself, um, uh, along with some, you know, a few students and skeleton staff. But it was, it was really hard. And, as soon as July and August rolled around and students came back, everything became enlivened and invigorated again. It's just marvelous. Come on in. Hey, dear. Hi. Emily is here. Hi, Callie. Hi, Emily. Hi, Jean. So, is there something you wish you knew on your first day of college? On, on my first day in college? Yeah, I, I think the, the thing that I didn't realize is that so many other first year students felt exactly like I did. Uh, a little scared, a little anxious, maybe even a little lost. And for some reason, I just thought that was me. And I think I would have taken great comfort knowing that uh, that's, the, that's the norm and that's okay. Yeah, so as a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, uh, an astronaut first and foremost, um, uh, uh, followed by playing center field for the Yankees. And as it turned out, no, neither of those seemed to have panned out very well. So. We gave that up at a fairly early age. <laughs> well, if you were to give a TED Talk, what would it be about? Probably on the really transformational power of a college education. And I know that sounds very simple, um, but it is it remains the single biggest determinant of a person's life. Uh, and and I'm not sure if everybody fully appreciates that. Uh, so that's probably, probably what I will talk about. So what would you say is your life motto? My life motto? Um, huh. My life motto, um, I would say probably work hard, play hard. Uh, I think there's a lot to be said for that. Um, I like to think that I work um, a fair amount, but also when it's, uh, when, it's not, when it's not work time that we should really be enjoying ourselves and our family and friends and dogs. That's what we <laughs> Do you believe in aliens and ghosts? I, I do not believe in aliens and ghosts. Although I will say when I walk around our campus, um, uh, I, I feel inspired by some of our past presidents who I see every day in our buildings. Um, uh, Tully Knowles at Knowles Hall, um, our first uh, president here on Stockton campus, and Robert Burns. Um, um, of course, Burns Tower is named after, and uh, really both transformational figures. Uh, so, no, I don't believe in ghosts, but I, I do draw inspiration from their spirits. So if you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Bruce Springsteen. So what's the skill you or, you or Callie. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Callie has a great life. <laughs> so what's a skill you wish you could master? Uh, playing, playing guitar and leading a rock and roll band. <laughs> so I know you mentioned Callie's really excited to have back on, students back on campus, right? Can she do any tricks? You know, Callie does remarkably few tricks, but she'll do anything for food. So, uh, hey, Cal, Cal, come here, right? You're running around. Are you going to sit? Can you sit? Callie, I have a treat. No interest sit. in sitting. No sit, interest Callie, in sitting. Sit, Callie, I have a treat. Oh, wait, and I actually do have a treat. <laughs> Cal, sit. And she'll stay like this for as long as you want because she is very, very motivated by food. Oh, <laughs> very motivated by food. That was, stay. Good girl, good girl. If I did not have a bone, she would not be sick. So she's <laughs> very motivated by food. Well, thank you for showing us that. Would you say you are an introvert or an extrovert? I would say mostly an extrovert, um, although there are times where I, I you know, need to be uh, um, uh, home uh, to re-energize the batteries a little bit. Mm -hmm. So would you say you prefer sweet or salty? Salty. Salty, me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk. 
So President Callahan, lazy day or spontaneous adventure? Well, I would think these days probably a lazy day would be best. Um, uh, things have been a little busy, and uh, while we like our spontaneous adventures, a lazy day uh, sounds good right about now. <laughs> Very understandable. What's a book that everyone should read? Well, there are so many, uh, but I will tell you, our, our team has been working a lot on leadership and leadership books, and my favorite is Good to Great uh, by Jim Collins. It's really a classic, so I would recommend that to all. Awesome. Do you prefer podcasts or music? Music, um, although also I've been really enjoying or had been enjoying uh, books on tape um, uh, when, I had a, when I had a long commute uh, to work, which of course I don't have anymore, thankfully. Uh, but I really was enjoying those uh, back in uh, Arizona. Yeah. So now that you've been in Stockton for a little bit now, what would you say is your favorite thing about living in Stockton? The people. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a fantastic community and they've been so welcoming to Gene and to me um, uh, since the day we arrived. Uh, and of course, it's a rich uh, community in terms of culture, it's fantastic food, there's so many things to do. It's such an interesting part of the country, but it really starts with, uh, with the people. And again, just a, just a wonderful, warm, welcoming folks. Yeah, so can you tell us how you got into higher ed? Yeah, a little bit by accident. Um, I was doing a, like, I like to think an early mid-career uh, graduate program. And while I was doing that, I started teaching on a part-time basis at my alma mater and really fell in love with it. So when it was time to go back to the workforce, I, um, uh, I was exploring other opportunities. And this really interesting job, uh, new job, was created at University of Maryland, which focused a lot on experiential learning. And that has been such an important part of my higher ed philosophy, quite frankly, one of the reasons why I'm here at Pacific, because experiential learning is so important here at Pacific. Um, uh, that's, how it, that's how it all really started. Well, that sounds like a pretty good story if you ask me. So last question for you. What's one thing you want our students to know? Well, the one thing that I would love for our students to, to know and to do is take advantage of all of the great things that are here at Pacific. And, you know, to take a course that maybe they wouldn't have taken ordinarily, um, to, um, uh, to, you know, to, to look at some of the clubs and organizations that are, that are here to get involved and mostly to take advantage of their faculty. You know, our, you know, our professors here are here for our students. And when I talk to alums, there's just these great stories about how their professors changed their lives and very often became mentors for their entire lives. And I just hope our students know that right away and take full advantage. Well, I definitely agree. So that wraps up your 21 questions. Thank you so much for doing with that with us today. Thanks, Emily. I think uh, Kelly has a mind of her own, so we're going to go for a walk. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great walk. Take care.